Welcome, welcome back to DD2, day two, day two. Got my new friend here, Miss Jada Jordan, who, uh, who, who called me up to uh, uh, what she's doing in the community. Amazing things, amazing things. So before we start, I know you're doing your whole uh, getting all the stuff together. So my people back home in Africa, one of the things we're going to talk about is what you're going through now, women right in in nigeria the rape the abuse just is one of the big reason so a couple of my people they are working on it a couple of my friends that, that I'm, I'm talking to about what you're doing so that we can find a way to support your movement so before we start on behalf of day two day two this is what we're going to support you with a little token from all of us oh, on the whole man. team you ain't gotta open it Aww. here, but it's a little bit. So here, thank you know, you so thank much. you oh for what goodness. you do for all, for everybody else, oh and goodness. everybody that helped me out with this. Thank I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you guys. Oh my goodness, that's a huge. Thank you so much. Okay, there you have it. So we are not getting paid from all this, but we were supporting the cost, man. So if you want to support us, please do. Let's go back to this abusive relationship. You said it started with verbal. Right, it did. Did it get physical? It did, yes, yes. Early on too. Okay, when was like, when he hit you the first time? What did you do? Like, this is somebody I stay with, I sit down with, I go out with. When he lays hands on you, what did you do? You just, you fought back? What let me you? let me tell you what his what his physical would be, restraining me. That's what he would do hold me down so I wouldn't, so I couldn't leave. That's often what he would do. And that's because he was the type, he's very manipulative and very sneaky. So you have men that, and this will show you that they can control themselves because you know they don't act like this when they're at work. They don't do any of this at work. And we tend to think, oh, well, they can't control it. We know that yes, they get to a point where they get out of control, but it is in their control. They can still control it. It's not somebody making them do it. He would do things where you're gonna question if it is abuse. So he would restrain me a lot of times. Mm -hmm. He would take my phone, my keys, so I couldn't leave. Um, the very last, which I put on the, my post underneath mm -hmm. the picture, is this, this was this year. And he picked me up in a bear hug and threw me on the ground. Ooh. Now that, I got lacerations on my, hands you know like road mm -hmm. rash when you and it's a shame how painful it is like when you washing your hands yeah, like it yes. really is and then I got bruises on my leg from that so that was the worst incident right there besides the rape that was the worst incident okay. early this year talk about the, did you call the cops no why is it that when this happened especially with sisters why don't you guys involve the cops if you look back at it what was the reason you didn't call the cop and it's, report the case it's embarrassing especially when it's your husband or your boyfriend because what you get and this is what you know it's funny so it started 2018 was when I filed the first restraining order so I included the rape in that but I didn't call the police for mm -hmm. it but sure. I I've included it in the petition that you have to file out or right. fill out Mm -hmm. for the injunction so it was included but as far as making a police report because you don't even know it it's somebody that you know so you're thinking it's just the the feelings what you're thinking is this is embarrassing that was one of the first uh, feelings that I got emotions I got was embarrassment shame um, you're frozen in that moment Cause people you you see you see a picture in your mind you're like mm -hmm. oh she's fighting she's doing all this and for a little bit you are mm -hmm. you may be trying to push away you're you're saying stop please stop but for some reason in the midst of it you get frozen did you have any did y'all know any it was in a bike club did, didn't you your i will assume y'all know common people yeah we did you, did you talk to anyone? At that time, I had gotten out of the bike club. This, the rape happened in 2018, mm -hmm. the end of 2018, right. in October. It was actually Florida Georgia weekend because he had went to the game. Yeah. He was out with. One was of he drunk? Yes, he was. He sure was. 
Do you think that triggered it? It's not an excuse, but oh, he has done stuff before, what even I, when it was. Yeah, what done. I think it is, what it, it just gave him more courage. N not that that's what it, that's what the drinking did. The drinking gave him more courage. Did you have kids at this time? Oh, you, yes. You want to talk about mm -hmm. your daughter? You okay with that? Sure. Did you yeah. have your daughter at that time? She was in 2018. She was four. So did she have to witness all this? She witnessed some of the incidents that we had. Um, the rape was not the reason why I filed the first injunction. It was the altercation we had about two or three days after that. And he was just harassing me, trying to get in the room, like coming after me. I'm holding the door because that door wouldn't close. So I'm trying to put a chair up against the door. He's still trying to get in. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I called the police. That was the last straw. When I had to drag our daughter out of, out of bed to wait for the police. That's what made me file the first injunction because several months before that, I could tell things were going to, they were just gonna get worse because he knew that I had filed for the divorce. Mm -hmm. It wasn't working because we even tried to reconcile after I filed for the divorce. Do a ter therapy and all that we, we counseling? Went, oh, we didn't went to so many counselors. We went to so many counselors. We went to so many. So after trying for that last time, I was like, okay, we just got to go through with the divorce. So he, things got worse after that. And I kept telling him, I'm like, please don't make me get an injunction. I got text messages between us. I have text messages um, with his coworker because his coworker was involved at one point. His, told him, I was like, you know, is this gonna affect his security clearance? Because I didn't, and that's what we do. It was in the We're military, always, yeah. he's actually, he, he works for the government. He's not in the military anymore. Okay. But he works for the government. And I, I'm thinking about him and how it's going to affect him because I didn't want to go that far. But that was the last straw when I had to drag her out of, bed, out of bed. And I'm still, I'm like, I can't, she can't live this way. It was about her. God forbid, creator forbid, the universe forbid. If you are stayed in now, what do you think would have happened? I told my mom, this is word for word, I told her, I said, somebody's gonna end up in jail or dead. We had guns in the house. Wow. I, and I do believe it would have gotten there. It would have gotten there because the, the person that he gets when he is angry, completely indifferent. He's a monster. He is an absolute monster. And nobody would know that because of how he, the, the facade that he puts on. He's very laid back. He's even shy, you know, just quiet but he has a horrible, horrible anger problem. Is it like a multiple personality issue when he changes or what it is? Uh, I, is honestly, he a good father? No, no he's not. Is he taking care of the daughter now? No. He, he pays child support because he has to. Mm -hmm. um, that's, another, that's, that's another topic, but as of right now, I've been having our daughter for the past six months, she has not been to his house because of other family issues with his other kids mm -hmm. that I cannot expose her to. Right. But he's able to see her, but mm -hmm. he won't see her. He's seen her three times in the past six months to give her something. Now, let me, let me, let me I'm not supporting him, but let me say this. If he's here right now and I ask him, this is what you have said about him. Yeah. If you ask him now, like, I mean, you've heard what he has said about you oh, too. Of course. What are some of the things that you look back, he will say like, well, this is, I'm not I, saying I'm so it's okay to that. lay your no, hands I'm so on no one. You that, don't put your hands on no one. Yes. I, I don't, I don't believe in toxic. Yes. I don't, if you are not happy, walk away, period. Right. If we ask him right now, if he's going to tell the story, what is he going to say? Well, Miss Jada, man, she's... Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. What do you think he's going to say? You know what he's going to say? He's going to say, he going to say she cheated on me, and that's why that's why our marriage ended. And I did. I had an affair. And that's what he would say. So there's every other excuse. This is what he would do. He, he, he told my family about the affair. He told his family. But not one time has he mentioned anything he has done wrong. But this is what he tells other people. And what he'll tell other people, she didn't work. She never worked. 
I had to take care of all the bills. I had to pay for everything. I bought her this and I did this. And meanwhile, I'm the one caring for our daughter. So I always, I'm, I'm just always thinking, I'm like, people for some reason, they downplay the role and work of a mother. Right. And I did work, I just worked part-time. Mm -hmm. But I went to school for physical therapy. Mm -hmm. I'm a physical therapist assistant. Went to school, right after I took my licensing exam is when I found I was pregnant. Hmm. So where, where was it that I was able to get into my field? Right. I was pregnant, right after. So after having her, I stayed home with her. Now, let me ask you though, because regard, like I said, before you go out of your marriage, cheating, doing whatever, you, it was more like enough is enough. I need to get up out of here. But something is still holding you back. Why, if you look back at it, what, what, I know he was abusing you though, but how did you think, what do you think was gonna happen when he found out you were having an affair? Before you did that, why didn't you just walk away? Um, because it was completely unintentional. That okay. wasn't, I ended the affair and I told him afterwards. He knew nothing about it. Oh, I you were the one that told, told, told him. him. Okay. I told him. He won't tell that, people that, that either. Yeah. He oh. won't tell people because I believe in doing the right thing. So honestly, my heart was trying to do the right thing because I knew I wasn't raised like that. That's right. not who I am. Right. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I wanted to fix it. I thought that was the way to fix it. So I went and I exposed myself. I told him because I thought like, this is all honesty. I thought it was going to bring us closer together. I'm like, we'll work through it. We'll get through it. That is not what happened at all. But mind you, he also had an affair, but he would go was to his... Oh, yeah, he did. Oh, I have, I have evidence. The day that I gave birth to our daughter, his ex messaged me on Facebook and told me he had been trying to sleep with her. She sent me the screenshot. But not only that... In February of 2018, I happened to get his Apple Watch mm -hmm. and saw pictures of another chick. He had been taking her dinner. And he he been taking her dinner. <laughs> like, I even went on the, it's on the bank statements <laughs> where, cause I know the roundabout area that she lives in and the restaurant is nearby her house. He was taking her, like, I mean, food, dinner. So, but he'll go to his grave with those secrets though. And you know, a woman, like honestly, I knew there was times I was so sure that he was cheating. Like I, it was, there was no doubt in my mind, but he won't ever confess. Never will he confess. Um, Like I said, I believe we all go through things for lessons in life. Like you learn, it makes you stronger. But one thing I just know now, um, just going through personal journey myself, anything toxic, I, I, we said it, me and my boy Pablo, we said it the last time. Anything toxic, I think uh, society make us stay, we keep on holding. If you're staying in anything toxic, the situation is not the problem. In uh, <laughs> self-worth is the problem. Right. It's the reason you stay. It has right. nothing to do with my kids. It has nothing because if you're raising your, sick, uh, your kids in a toxic environment, it's not even worth it. So self-worth is always the reason most of us just put up with it. Right. Now, I'm going to ask you now, do you guys still communicate now where you're trying to work things out with the kids and with your daughter? Him or, and I? Mm -hmm. we, have, we currently have an injunction in place. That this is my third injunction against him now for the domestic battery in March. So we have no contact besides the, the court-ordered app that we have to speak through, and that's only for our daughter. So if he, that's it. There is no contact whatsoever because he can't contact me. Mm -hmm. Um, you said seven years y'all were together. What, like, give and take seven? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are we almost at that time now. What I want to ask you is, what gave you the strength? When did you? I want you in this segment. What gave you the strength? Out of nowhere, when did you look at the mirror? Or when did you look at uh, Miss Jada and say, you know what, I am stronger than this? When when did you get to that point? Because you, you keep on talking about self-worth. When did you get to that point and say, you know what, 
I am bigger than this. I am better than this. Let me take everything to my hands. Honestly, I just got to that point. I left because I saw how it was affecting my daughter. And I was like, I can't raise her this way because I was raised that way. So who's going to break it? Mm. Who's going to break it? If nobody breaks it, then it's going to keep on happening. And it honestly is the same with my ex-husband. He has a lot of problems because he came from a toxic home. Mm -hmm. He wasn't even raised by his parents. He was raised by his grandparents. Hmm. So it, it stems, like I look from every angle, I try to. I don't bash him, you know, or I'm not making up things about him. The truth is the truth, that's just it. You know, you said one thing now, because a lot of people always think, yeah, you know, there's statistics showing that, that uh, a home with a father makes a huge difference. But you were saying like, listen, I had my dad and I had my mom. So when you hear people say, oh, I, I grew up with my mom, my, my dad, you don't believe that's, that's what makes a difference in in an abusive relationship. You can have both parents at home right. and it's still toxic. Right. You believe that? I do believe that because our our home was toxic. It's not just having two parents in a home that is gonna make everything better. No, it's gonna be how those parents interact with each other because mm -hmm. that's your example of a relationship. It's gonna be your relationship with your parents. Mm -hmm. Whether both of them are in the home, it's the relationship you have with your parents. How are they raising you? What are they instilling in you? It's all about relationships, healthy relationships, whether or not they're both in the home or not. If you have a good relationship with your dad, you got a good relationship with your mom and they're not together, you can still be good. Okay, let me, the last question, uh, we just did 16. I wanna ask this though. Two of you guys, when people say in a relationship that you've been through like you gotta have a king you gotta have a queen everybody gotta play their role if you look back at what you went through with the abusive world, did y'all have any role was anyone leading was there something was good at when you look back at it, it was this is what a king is supposed to do and you as a queen this is what i was was there anything if you look except for your daughter is always a blessing i don't right, play with right. that your kids are a blessing right. and every man i said it I cannot be friends with a man that does not take care of their kids, period. Right. If you look back at it now, was there any good thing about it? I know the bike club, but was there any good thing you can take? Like, say, you know what? Looking back at it, I think it was, or you just look back at it like, shit. No, no, he, uh, everybody has some good attributes. There's something good. He, um, what I can say is he did want his family to be together. He just didn't know how to mm. go about it because he didn't know what a family was. He didn't He didn't know. But I do know that his heart wanted that, but he didn't do the work to get it. Which most people do not know how to do. Again, Miss Jada is here transitioning. Quinn, I want to thank you. We got a last part. Now, this last part, my, my, my focus is your advice your summary some of the symptoms people should be saying men and women i don't want this to be men go through abusive you if you deal with a a, a damaged woman we're going to talk about that okay. advice you're going to give to them and then we definitely going to talk about your 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 company and what you're trying to uh to where you want to get to you know what i mean okay. we will be right back on days to day two if you've not subscribed i'm telling y'all man especially my military buddies man i'm gonna look for y'all so please go subscribe on youtube go support her transitioning queen on facebook ig she already gave all our information we're gonna do it again before she uh before we end this thing you gonna you see our shout out have you seen us do a shout out have I? No. Okay, I'm gonna teach no. you how to do it on our break, man. Me and okay. me and my boy okay. Pablo is a time where we give shout out to all our all our people. I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're okay. gonna help us do that, okay? Right. We will be right back. Blessings from the creator. God bless y'all.